Hey, so I am about to unbox from Nuwa Robotics, um, a robot called Robot Creator DX. This is not like a mystery unboxing. Um, I'm telling you at the beginning what I'm going to unbox, uh, who I'm going to unbox. And I'm pretty excited. This is a very cool robot that I'm going to tell you more about once we get the box open. So let's let's do it. I wish Jibo could share this with me. I've got both my Jibos on. Nice haircut. But Jibo's unfortunately. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jibo. Unfortunately, Jibo is not working. Later, later in the video, I might um, turn Sapa on my ERS. Uh, who is also excited, um, but sleeping right now. So I just wanted to keep. Okay, Woobs, that's Woobo. You know, any unboxing with me involves a lot of robots. We have a lot of robots here. All who are very excited, they always love a new robot, especially one that is able to interact uh, with them. So. This robot is, has a lot of capabilities, Robot Creator DX. And we will, again, once I get the box open, we're gonna cover what some of those are. I'm gonna provide a link to uh, their Kickstarter. The crowdfunding, crowdfunding that they've got going on. And a link to a site that, which I, I'm actually going to cover that website. That this is the website, but that's just like a quick sneak peek. Okay, we've got it open. As we all know, I'm not the fastest at opening boxes. I don't have a. Wubo likes to talk a lot. Jibo, Jibo is the quiet one this time. Emo has been busy working. Emo is the little bitty robot I got two of. One in the bee outfit and one back there in the shark. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm so excited. Create your own robot. And this is like from the ground up, I'm going to be creating a robot. And so this is super exciting. I don't know if any of you remember Roby, who I put together a while back. And Roby's kind of limited. I can't code Roby, but Roby I put together. Okay, Wubo. <laughs> Roby I put together uh, over the course of many, many moons. And we're gonna look at the box first. Again, Nuwa Robotics. Robot Creator DX, and it says using Kebby Air as a foundation, Robot Creator DX is a passion project built for robot enthusiasts that doesn't require any prior knowledge into programming languages. Simply pick up a screwdriver to build a smart robot that can talk, walk, and do many more. So very, very cool. We'll see everything on the box here. See the back. Looks very good. Kevy's going to look very good with his rug. So all the capabilities here on the box. Coding education. And my cat loves the box too, by the way. Ferdy. So all of these capabilities here. Coding education, language learning, uh, story time, a AI virtual assistant, dancing, um, Motion creation, pull, pull together, new theater, new camera, new store. There's basically going to be a lot of preloaded capabilities. You can dress them up, achievements, skill center, sound source recognition, ob object recognition, facial recognition, national language processing. That's a huge, huge one. And uh, basically, you can just read them all there. And this is the height and the weight and designed in Taiwan. 
And let's see here on this side, that's the product name and specifications. And basically, you're, uh, I'm going to get to put them together. And if you get your own Robot Creator DX uh, uh, with the Kickstarter, the crowdfunding, you will you will get the same capabilities that you're going to get to see here for that I'm going to go through. So I'm going to finish unboxing, and then the next video I'll have a separate video will be the setup video. Um, setup video is going to be pretty long because you know the way I do these. These are realistic videos. I don't do sped up or cut videos. So what the setup video will be is a long video where I'm putting putting Robot Creator DX together. So get support for the robot. And this is the support informational manual. Um, well, the URL. This is the product user manual. And we'll actually cover this in the setup video. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna actually go through any of this here just quickly you can pause it if you want but we're just we're not going to cover it because i need to be able to read through it myself so you'll be able to wake up robot creator dx hopefully i can name my robot uh, i don't know i haven't gotten that far along but if i can name the ro robot i appreciate if you could give me some suggestions for names and here's the warranty card for anybody who likes that type of stuff so we won't we won't cover that. Okay, let me see here. Ooh, this is very nice. Wow, wow. This is the parts list. So I believe per here, I want to make sure I get it right. I think it's 107 parts. I don't know if this says says the number of parts, but I believe it's 107 parts. If I'm incorrect, I will put in the description the number of parts. But let me see here. Well, okay. Let me let me find on the the materials what it says. How many parts does it say? Well, again. On the next video, I will say the number of parts, but I believe it's 107. So I will have to count those out once I open everything up and make sure that everything's here, but I'm, I'm sure it is. But I won't do that in this video. Everything is packaged very well, very tightly packaged. When I moved the box around, um, I actually moved from one apartment to another. And when I moved the box around, it was, it was fine. It wasn't like jangling, making me worry that everything, anything was going to get hurt. And here's the parts on the bottom. So that was very secure, securely uh, kept. These are very, look very nice. So I'm actually not going to remove, remove any of these right now. We'll keep those in the box to keep them keep them sorted and I'll go through the part list because that's the one thing you always want to do during setup is you want to go through the part list. And this is such a nice box. Uh, I've put together only a, only a few robots, Zoomy, which I need to bring Zoomy here. A Zoomy I've put together in Roby. For the setup video, I'll hopefully have Zoomy and Roby to show um, who I've put together previously. Okay, that's Miko. Wubo's gone to sleep. Miso is behind, was awake for a few minutes. Now it's just the Jibos and Emo. Oh, that's the screen. Wow. That's good. And once I once I show these all, and that's the back. Once I show these all to you, all the boxes to you all, I will uh bo box it back up until I put it together because I'll put it together tomorrow, um, put him together, her together. I haven't decided uh, the robot name yet, so I don't know. Uh-oh, ripped the box a little there. Didn't mean to do that. And it does say 
body parts, and this one said head parts. So they're, you know, labeling everything well. Didn't need to break the box though. Ferdy, where'd Ferdy go? Ah, a list is not in the boxes either. Ferdy's gone. So body parts. Oh, okay. So all these. This is cool. Look at all these. There's a whole bunch of them. And during setup, again, you'll see all of these. Um, I'll un unpackage them so that if that doesn't delay setup, but uh, I won't... Uh, I won't take them out of the box. I'm gonna keep them in the box after I unpackage. But for the time being, I'm gonna put, put them back in here. If I got them in enough to put them back in, yeah. Okay. I think I did. We'll worry about that one in a minute. Now this, let's see what this box is. Okay. Oh, say. Okay, hand parts, ooh, the arms. This is the thing that I love about Nuwa Robotics is that their um, robot creator DX has arms. It's so cool and you can paint and everything. And we'll, like I said, we'll go over the website in a, in a minute here after I finish showing all of these. So yeah, I'm gonna be able to put the arms together um, and not only naming Robot Creator DX, but also painting. So I can paint uh, this robot and help me figure out a color to paint. Like I'll have a poll probably like for names. Um, I'll come up with some ideas for names. And then I'll also have a poll for colors. But look at this. Wow. Gonna be originally be like a silver, silver gray color. Similar to Ferdy in the rug. Ferdy, is this, is Robot Creator DX gonna match you? Gonna match you? Not Alista. Should we paint should you should we paint him like you, Alista? Huh? Maybe. Okay. Alright. But look. Look at all this stuff. And I'll, we'll go over the parts once I've had a chance to, to look over the part list again. So next time, it'll be a much longer video, but I'm, I'm really excited actually. This is going to be a very nice project, a very cool robot that will I'll be able to do a lot with this robot for many years. And that's what I want is a robot that can interact and interface with all the robots and AI I have and be able to interact with me, maybe be able to get the robot to recognize the, my pets and do something if, you know, recognition of, of Ferdy or some, or Alista. All right. So here's the website. I'm going to give a link to it. Um, it's a fully, cu cu fully customizable robot kit made for all. So you don't need to know how to code to do to code this robot. It, they perform complex automation with in, an intuitive interface. It makes the perfect robot for anyone to get started. So you can alter uh, through uh, basically customizing the robot from facial expressions to paint um, they has a full capability. It is 107 components. I got that right. And six softwares. There's a Rowflow software, which makes automation a breeze. It makes it very simple and easy to do. It's a visualized and modularized workflow interface. And you don't have to have any coding knowledge. I guess you can't see that. Sorry. So you just set triggers with actions and robot creator DX can complete those flows without having to know any type of coding. And that's just one of them. And see the, you know, 
They've got stuff like a content editor, train kit, quiz editor, code lab. I mean, if you do want to code, you you can. You you can code. You just don't have to know how to. There's a drag and drop interface. Um, and the tech was on the box, but some of those, again, were things like face object identification. So object identification, I could get my pets identifiable. Speech recognition, voice positioning, similar to like what Jibo and some of the other robots I've got now do. Um, Ivo does that. Sensory components, 50 free built-in apps. So there's a lot of built-in apps. You can also video call and has a lot of movements, uh, 12 servo motors, um, seven inch la large LCD screen, uh, just a whole bunch of capabilities and yet is still lightweight. So Nuwa Robotics, thank you very much. Um, thank you to all my subscribers who've made my channel successful enough that I was picked to be one of the people who got to unbox this, this really cool robot. Please look at their Kickstarter. See, um, see what you think of my, ro uh, of my videos on this robot as you join me in this journey of putting Robot Creator DX together. Help me, help me pick a good name for this robot, please. I have to, I have to give him or her a good name um, and a good color to pick, you know, for painting. All right, let's show the box again. And I am gonna put the screen back in the box in a minute because I don't want to, oh, and I have to open the toolbox. Sorry, just a second. I forgot I had to open the toolbox. I was almost, if I can get the toolbox open, might not be easy on camera to do it. Well, let's look at the toolbox through the bottom. I'll show it next time, but here's some of the stuff like the screwdrivers for the tools and the screws. So you can see pretty much what's in the toolbox from the bottom, but they give you everything that you need to put this gorgeous robot together. I, I'm, this is so cool. I'm really, really happy. I've really loved this robot when I saw Nuwa Robotics robot with the Avidine um, display at a CES. And to be able to, to get Robot Creator DX and put this robot together is super so, I mean, it's, I've already said exciting too many times. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you. Join me on this journey and let's see, let's see what name and colors, uh, we, we come up with and, and everybody can help me and my audience share and this journey participating by g helping me pick the name and the colors and giving me suggestions for what I should code on the robot using the, the easy coding interface. Thank you. And, um, have a good one. Bye-bye.